What is up everybody? My name is The Rose and this is the Nintendo Direct. And I will be doing a reaction video for the Game Corner Podcast. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please look forward to it. Okay, let's get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. And I just missed the uh, very first announcement, so I would have to go back in the end and uh, check that one out. The hotel for yourself. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel, <clears throat> every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Case in point, Tomb Suites. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel? Guess we should expect some mummies, harsh sands, and booby traps. As for the other floors, well, there's the disco floor, a pirate-themed restaurant, you get the idea. Now, as much as they show off uh, of this game, I just still don't care much about it. I mean, I, I like to watch somebody play a game like this, but to me, it's not a game I'm interested in. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooey team. With only one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can battle it out. See which team can defeat the most ghosts. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergeist g -double So apparently this one has some kind of minigame system in it. It's interesting, to say the least. opens its doors on October 31st, just in time for Halloween. Get a load of this new free-to-start Kirby game. Oh, look, the stream froze. Yeah, th this did this quite a bit last time on YouTube as well. Super Kirby for Clash, huh? You and your team will pick four jobs. That's right. Get your weapons, get your gear, and get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. There are more than 100 quests. So, get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. You can play alone, together on one system, team up via local wireless. Or even play online. That's a unique spin on a Kirby game. It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around the world to overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches later. Oh, it's today. available today. And remember, it's free to start too. Uh, free to start, but you gotta buy it to play it. This long-awaited, recently released RPG is getting a remake. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, Trials of Mana. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to Peter Jessica if I die. This in your appearance will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class. Allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Step into the light, or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and abilities. Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping or combo attacks for each member of your party. That's pretty cool. This looks interesting. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Find out what's in store for yeah, the And the stream froze again. I'm gonna have to go to Twitch for this. Trials of Mana comes out 2020, uh, April 24th. What happened to the crew of this doomed ship? The Overton vanished at sea in 1803. Only to wash up four years later in Falmouth, England with no sign of survivors. The fate of the crew remains What is this? As an insurance it's like some echochrome shit. You must leave the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. You bastard! Thank you! Thank you! Exactly what I did you! Explore the ship. Observe the situation. Alright, I'm gonna move over to Twitch real quick, so I'm gonna end up missing the rest of that trailer. But from what I'm seeing, it doesn't look interesting at all.
Um, for whatever reason, the YouTube app doesn't handle the, their streams very well. But I don't have any issues usually on Twitch. So, just give me a moment. I'm switching over. Uh, so I just have to find it. Once this loads... Uh, where is Nintendo on this list? I know I'm following Nintendo on Twitch. I uh, don't see the stream. Oh, there it is. Oh, of course we got an ad. This is a Kit Kat ad. Oh, I better not get copyright for this. Fuck you, Twitch, and your stupid ads. What is this? Oh, okay. I thought this was somebody streaming it and the their big ass reality. head in the, in the shot. The next level with the X5. Fucking ads. Fuck off. All the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Fuck Undertale. Little Town Hero will make a stand on Nintendo Switch October 16th. I completely missed that trailer. And the game later looked uh, just based on the last screenshot I saw. It didn't look like something I would have cared for. Yes, what does that mean? Is he gonna be as broken as uh, Dragon Quest Hero is? Yeah, so far I don't care about anybody in the DLC for this game. What's with this? What? What was that? Neo Geo? Okay. Oh, they're showing the next DLC character. Well, we knew it was going to be an SNK character because Nintendo went and accidentally leaked it on their own. And it's a uh, Art of Fighting character, it looks like. Or a King of Fighters character. Watch it be my. You got an invite floating around in an envelope and all the SAK fighting characters are trying to get their hands on it. Oh, he missed. <laughs> So who's it going to be? Oh, we got a winner. Yep, Terry Bogard. That figures. So we won't see Terry until probably November, December ish. Fatal Fury character. That's pretty cool. I'm interested in that. November 2019. I just said it. November. He'll probably play like uh, Ken and Ryu do. So. So. Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the fighters pass. Can there really be only one left? Special announcement. Nope, there's going to be a fighters pack too. We're More DLC. Yep. Fucking knew it. Outside the five fighters included in the fighters pass, we can confirm that other new fighters are in development. The battle isn't over yet. 
Wow. By the time they're done, the roster is going to be like a hundred characters. So, what do you think? Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll That's have to cool. share with you in the future. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. It's about time to wake the Windfish in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which means the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. Yawn. You'll meet some strangely endearing Don't islands. care about this whatsoever. Face a series of puzzling tasks and encounter some oddly familiar faces. Whatever happens, that Kirby? help Link escape Koholin's Island before its mysteries get the best of him. With the all-new Chamber Dungeon, you can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons, add in plus effects that alter chambers, and save Chamber Dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. That way, your friends can play them. Okay, that is cool. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will launch before you know it on September 20th. So why don't you just make, um, fucking Zelda Maker then, if you're gonna do something like that. That's pretty much the first step to, to making a Zelda Maker. the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now join his adventure. Dragon Quest XI-S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition, is exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds. And experience new character-focused stories. The day the game launches, free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack, including consumable items and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members. An RPG giant draws near. Oh, Dragon Quest is a series I haven't been able to get into. Echoes of an elusive age definitive edition journeys on to Maybe someday. September 27th. Until then, you can prepare for your adventure with the free demo on Nintendo eShop. Looking for more Fire Emblem goodness? Then say hello to Tokyo! What? The worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Atlas games have crossed paths, and the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. The story takes place in modern-day Tokyo, where creative energy is so abundant it's materialized into something called Performa. The which fuck? Attracts wicked mirages who suck it out of people. Is this the Tokyo Mirage the X Fire Emblem game we've heard about like two years ago? friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. Fire Emblem characters like Prom and Sina will join you from another dimension. Together, you'll wage deep turn-based battles, blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And, in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Be sure to check out the other new features, from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Hey, is that Tiki? Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore releases on January 17th. Yeah, it looks alright. Yeah, I probably won't play it. In fact, I know Welcome I won't play it. To where nothing is what it seems. Boston, 2019. Boston sucks. Again, Let's go Yankees. Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case. She also opens the door to the unknown. The door that also takes us back. New Orleans, 14 years ago. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name York. The journey between past and present will take place <coughs> in New York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise, boggles and yes. Nintendo Switch. Come on, show something good. Now for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch on Nintendo eShop and Deadly Premonition Origins later today. Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Don't Check it care. Out. Wow, this this direct is not very good so far. I gotta say.
This is a game that's been out for years. It's like something, uh, something out of Diablo or something. Reminds me of Diablo. Especially with that top-down perspective. And now for a message from Bethesda. No, thank you. Hey, Nintendo fans. Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. Is it Doom? I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well... This year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person shooters. You're bringing Doom 64 to the Switch? And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. Oh, called it! For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. Relive your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Or, if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. That's pretty cool. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. Doom 64 Remastered, hell yeah. That's pretty cool. Introducing a brand new IP from developer hi res Studios, Rogue Company. To most of the world, Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. Whether you wield guns, gadgets, or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercy. This looks pretty cool. Be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, Oh, he almost got his head taken off. Oh, look out. And more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. That's pretty neat. It, it almost it looked like a Battle Royale game at first. I mean, it still could be. Who knows? RPG series, Pokemon Sword, and Pokemon Shield. We have more information to share that will shed new light on this next Pokemon adventure. Are you finally going to appease all the crybabies and uh, add the national decks? Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield <laughs> yeah, right. place in the Gala region. A scenic land where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among them, you'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. Today, that we'll is a giant Eevee. You can look forward to. First, customizing your look. Once again, the latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety, including outerwear and gloves. Customization's always nice. All right, I'll take that. Plus, you can change your hairstyle. Okay, I'm sold. Or put on a little makeup. There's a lot more to be. She wearing cat ears. Simply honing your battle skills. Oh, I see twin tails. I'm happy. Don't you think? Second, Pokemon Camp. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon. And as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. Interesting. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Third, curry on rice. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. How your curry turns out and what type it is ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. Not to mention uh, it's probably something I won't be doing. Not gonna lie. There are more than 100 types. And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal? To master the art of curry. 
Huh? What's that Pokemon doing here? And fourth, we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. First, it's a teapot. Normally, it makes a home for itself by hiding amongst tableware, hotels, and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost-type Pokemon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. Next, another new Pokemon called Cramorant. This flying and water-type Pokemon has won a huge appetite. Oh, that's going to make it uh, very bad against electric types. When it uses surf or dive during battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. If it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. Oh. This is Cramorant's exclusive new ability, Gulp Missile. Gulp Missile? Ha! Huh. And that's all we have to share with you today. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon uh, Sword. Two more, two more Pokemon. One of which is a teapot. That's kind of dumb. Well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure. You added a curry dex. That's going to make people more mad because they want, you know, more Pokemon. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. And now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. It's called Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online. With this, you can play a variety of classic Super NES games on Nintendo Switch. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll be right back. Like stuff right on screen will launch tomorrow. Breath of Fire, F Zero, Kirby. Add more to the Brawl Brothers. This offer is I have to look at that again because I didn't let my nephew in the house, so I missed that too. Enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, you noticed this, did you? To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online exclusive controller as a special offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. This Super NES-style controller will be available for purchase exclusively for Nintendo $30. Switch. $30? I guess members. that's not bad Visit the for Nintendo that. website for the latest information on its release. Wouldn't it be nice to play those games again with one of these controllers? Well, let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Tetris 99. Can you survive this? Version 2, Survival Mode. The large scale puzzle battle game, Tetris 99, is getting free update. Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? Well, good luck. Oh, shit. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Sweet! To showcase your accomplishments, we're tossing in a vast array of new player icons, too. Beyond that, the second wave of paid DLC is here as well. In two-player share battle mode, pass a joyful controller to a friend for a two-player game against each other and the CPU. Get together with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch systems in local arena mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. Wow, that's pretty cool. The version, including the game, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12-month individual membership will be available September 6th. Oh, wow. So you can buy the game and you get a year of uh, online? Mario and Sonic old school in Tokyo. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games has become a tradition of its own. This time, there are more than 20 events, including the 100-meter, karate. Yeah, punch him in the face. Skateboarding, rugby sevens, sport climbing, badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came from. Check out these 10 retro style events. Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, 
Bowser and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic oh, that's Olympic interesting. Games Tokyo 2020 will go for the gold November 5th. I think that's the first uh, Olympic Games Mario and Sonic game to have a story mode. Demo will be here sooner than you think. Ahead of the full game's release next week, the free demo version of Damon X Machina prologue demo will be available for download later today. Now yeah, pass. In this prologue, you'll man your mech through the beginning of the game, and all of your progress can carry over to the full game. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about. This is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players. And we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So, gather your friends and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Damon X Machina will be ready for action September 13th. Yeah, that game's gonna get crushed by Borderlands 3. The Star Wars classic so fun, it's back for more. Kyle Katarn, agent of the New Republic, is our only hope to stop a rogue Jedi. Get your lightsaber at the ready, blaster in hand. Prepare to wield the full power of the Force. Courtesy of Aspire, the full single-player experience of Star Wars, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast is coming to Nintendo Switch September 24th. We've got new details on some upcoming games. Here's where my journey begins. Metro 3. Pass. Your current contract? Tracking down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. You'll have a whole world to explore. At home and on the go. When the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And Next. all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Then transform into the ultimate Assassin Hunter in Assassin's Creed Road. That's two action-packed games for one great value. All past DLC and new features like touch control and motion aiming coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch in Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG, Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go, or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear options, and team up with other Slayers Ooh, to make the boss As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. This looks something, uh, looks something I'll try. Oh, racing game. That almost looks like Gran Turismo. But I know better. Just Dance 2020. No thank you. Uh, Great Autosport, that's what that was. September 19th. Farming Simulator, no. I still don't understand why people like those games. Uh, Nino Kuni, the first one. Coming September 20th, NBA 2K20. That comes out this Friday. Call of Cthulhu. October 8th. Uh, the Outer Worlds, coming soon, no release date. Devil May Cry 2. Coming September 19th. Uh, what is that? How's that now? Vampire. Vampire. October 29th. Not very impressive. How's everything going? Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. We revealed many details about the game back in June, so we prepared a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? Do we have to?
thank you for choosing the deserted island getaway package. A laid back, relaxing time in a haven of nature. Too awaits. soon. If you know what I mean. Other folks participating in the getaway package, the time's come to get into the groove of deserted island life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Oh boy, a tent. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. I thought it said crappy tools. I was going to be like, what? by crafting <laughs> an axe. We're going to need some materials. Like branches. That didn't look like a branch, it looked like a log. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. Nicely done. That's an axe? You can use the tools look like no axe. to acquire new materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. Shovel, teapot, a log. Feel free to place furniture inside or outside. You can fine-tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style. And you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Why? Why do people like this? Let's I don't understand it. Resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as part of our island cleanup plan. In addition to the usual in-game currency, Bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing, catch some bugs, tend to flowers, and pick them to make a garland. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. A vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Yeah, because that's totally how you dig up trees. Up in, that corner of the island. in fact, you can't dig up trees. The scenery changes with the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Oh no! No, oh, you shouldn't have said that. That's too soon. Day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously. Up to four players at a time on one system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. With a local wireless or internet connection, you can travel to another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory? How's Deserted Island Life looking? What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, and more calling to you from the oh island. Oh my goodness, go to the next we thing, please. I don't care about any of this. Holy shit. March 20th, 2020. There's still a bit more time until the game launches. So please A bit more time is still more than half a year. Alright. 
The next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. Please be something good. Look like Shulk. Do you wish to change it? Huh? The future. <laughs> yep, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Another. Ugh, another port. The only good game left to bring over from the Wii U now is Super Mario 3D World, man. Just get on with it. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Re-releasing a game that came out over seven years ago. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. Why? That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Okay, so this uh, this direct absolutely sucked. Uh, in my opinion, I didn't give one fuck about mostly anything that was shown outside of Tetris and Smash. And, uh, you know, that free-to-play game, I'm going to try it out. And the Super Nintendo uh, games are finally bringing to the Switch online service. Uh, which is something that people have been asking for for months now, nearly a year. Um, I don't know if anybody has these trailers uploaded, but I wanted to go back and look at the... Uh, at the thing here. Because I missed a couple of things. I missed the very first announcement. And, uh, because I was turning on the stream, usually they don't start immediately. But, uh, this time they did. And, uh, I'm not seeing it. Whoever's uploading these trailers didn't upload everything. A Super Kirby Clash. There was a one thing from Blizzard. They showed off. Um, but it's not, I don't see it on here. At least yet. I see Terry, the thing, from, yeah, the Terry thing. I don't even see the, um, Uh, oh, here's the thing for the Super Nintendo. Okay, let me look at this, at least. Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. And now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. Alright, this is what I missed. One of the things I missed when I had to bring my nephew in the house. So, they're adding Super Mario Kart, the very first one. They're adding Yoshi's Island, F-Zero, Kirby's Dream Course... Uh, Link to the Past, Super Mario World, Star Fox, Stunt Race FX, I never played. Poyo Poyo, Kirby's Dream Course 3, or Kirby's Dream Land 3, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Here are the first games we plan to release. All 20 of the games... Alright, so let's look at this list. You got Brawl Brothers, never played it. Breath of Fire, I've heard of it, never played it. F-Zero. Uh, Demon's Crest, never heard of it. Uh, Joe and Mac 2, I've heard of it, never played it. Kirby's Dream Course. Uh, Pilot Wings, Black. Kirby's Dream Land 3, I will play that. Star Fox, uh, Stunt Race FX, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super EDF, Earth Defense Force, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, 
Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island, uh, Super Puyo Puyo 2, uh, Super Tennis, Super Soccer, and The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Those are the games they're adding so far. Obviously, they're going to add more over the coming months. And they'll be available tomorrow, so that's pretty cool. Of course, we will eventually add more to the lineup. This offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch Online members, so please enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, you noticed this, didn't you? Yeah, and I saw the controller, so uh, I don't need to look at that anymore. I'm trying to find the, um, the very first thing they announced. If they ended the stream, I can go back and look at it. Oh, you know, they're still live, right? Can I go back, actually? Oh, yes, I can rewind. Oh, this is glorious. How far back can I go, though? Oh, looks like I didn't go back far enough. Okay, good. So I can go back on the actual stream and look at the announcement. So, um... Let's take a look at it real quick. Nintendo Direct. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Overwatch. Is it? Yeah, it's Overwatch. I had a feeling it would be. It makes sense, to be honest. I'm sure it'll do just as well on the Switch as any other platform. Yep, I, I know what Overwatch looks like. I don't need to watch the rest of this trailer. Um, I just gotta see, is there a release date for this? October 15th. So there you have it, folks. That's the Nintendo Direct. I really don't have anything else to say about it. I didn't think it was very good, but... uh you know, to each their own. Everybody likes something different. Uh, Terry Bogard coming to Smash is pretty cool. Uh, the Tetris 99 update. I'm looking forward to that. Probably uh, stream some tomorrow uh, of some survival mode as I get myself tongue twisted. Uh, Trials of Mana was interesting. Something I might look into. Um, and the Super Nintendo uh, games they're adding to the Switch online. So. That being said, folks, uh, thanks for watching. My name is The Rose, and until next time, be safe with this hurricane, guys, and thoughts and prayers with everybody affected, especially in the Bahamas, Florida, the Carolinas, Georgia, those of you affected, uh, and those of you who are going to be affected over the coming days, please be safe. Thanks for watching. My name is The Rose, and I'll catch your ass down the road.